I'm Tyler Reed, Manufacturing Specialist at Go Engineer, and this quick tip video is going to cover how to program corner round geometry inside CAMWorks. In this example part, I have some corners that have been rounded using the SOLIDWORKS fillet tool, and we will program these using three different CAMWorks feature types. The three feature types that we'll be doing is a pocket feature up here. Pocket features will be used when the corner round is on the inside of the feature. Down below, we'll be using a boss type feature. Boss features will be when the rounded corners are on the outside of the feature. And then here in the center, we'll be using an open profile type feature. In CAMWorks, open profile features are used when we are following edges or sketch lines. So let's start with the pocket. I'm going to create a two and a half axis feature that's a pocket type feature. And now here's where the first difference you'll see uh, when programming a corner round. Normally when I'm programming a pocket, I will choose this upper, outer edge, or this bottom face. But when programming a corner round feature, we're actually going to choose this edge here, the bottom edge of the corner round. And that's going to create a unique situation inside CAMWorks, where after selecting the depth, the volume that's created, marked by these green lines here, actually doesn't contain the area that we're going to cut at all. And that's kind of just a quirk inside CAMWorks. And, and uh, this will be great, though. This is going to program just fine. So go ahead and finish selecting that feature. And I'm going to manually just create a contour mill here. Now, unlike chamfer machining, corner round features, uh, they don't have any special checkboxes or whatnot. So it's all, the uniqueness is all in how we define the features. I don't have a corner round tool in my tool crib, so let's add one. And that fillet feature is a quarter inch. It's a quarter inch fillet. So I'm going to choose a quarter inch corner round here. I'm going to go ahead and preview that. So if you can see, the toolpath is offset from the feature. And it's actually offset by the amount of that bottom diameter on the corner round. Inside CAMWorks, we call that the effective diameter. And it's that offset, as opposed to the, the full width of the tool offset, is that reason why we select the bottom edge of the corner round. So in this example, I'm not going to worry too much about uh, selecting feeds and speeds or lead-ins or lead-outs or whatnot. I'm more concerned about how we define the features. So that pocket corner round is finished. Let's move over to the boss. The boss will be very similar. Create a two and a half axis feature, and it's going to be a boss type. And again, we're going to select the bottom edge. Define it up to the top face. And when I manually create a contour mill here again, I'm going to click this little blue arrow and uncheck Use Tech DB Defaults and tell it when you create this contour mill, copy the parameters from Contour Mill 1. And so it automatically chooses the tool and every other operation parameter will be the same. Great. So now the boss type is finished. Last thing we need to program here is this open profile. Now I can't recall the radius on this. So I'm going to hop back over to the SOLIDWORKS feature tree. I'm going to click on that face. It's going to highlight the feature that was used to create that. I'm going to edit that feature and I see it's using a 3 8 inch fillet. So I'm when I select my tool, I'm going to make sure I select that. Create a feature, open pocket or open profile feature. And I'm going to choose again the bottom edge. Now, open profile feature is a very handy feature when you need to run a tool along an edge or a sketch line that doesn't form a closed loop. So this is a perfect example. We'll create that contour mill. And since this is a different sized fillet, I'm not going to copy the parameters. I'm going to have to add a second corner round tool to my tool crib. This time it'll be a 3 8 inch corner round. 
and preview that. Now in this case, just to be a little bit more thorough, I will add a lead in and a lead out. When using an open profile type feature, it's very common to add an arc type or a parallel type lead in and lead out. And that just gives it a little bit of breathing room and extends the tool path both at the beginning and the end. So now that I've programmed all three corner rounds, let's run a quick simulation here. And because I, I didn't take a lot of time to define the stock, or I haven't cut away the rest of the part, it's going to show that we're obviously undercut in a lot of spots. But what we're looking for are these areas of green around the corner rounds. So over here, around the boss, we're all green. We're cut to size. Same within the center. Now in the pocket, we do get undercuts in the corners. And that really has to do with how SolidWorks programs those corner rounds. So the reality is, is that at how it's programmed inside SolidWorks and the geometry that it creates is different than if we were just going to run a corner round tool in these corners. So there's going to be a slight difference here. Normally that's okay. But if for some reason the designer or whoever programmed the, the CAD model needs the geometry to look exactly like this, then we actually can't program that with the corner round tool. We'd have to come in with a ball nose mill and, and do a three axis feature. So hopefully that clarifies how to program corner round features inside Camworks. Let us know if you have any questions. Mm -hmm.